Will it be challenging to find a job here in Finland if you have a foreign name? That's exactly what we are going to talk about today. Stick around. What a fantastic welcome to a new video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Alex and I make fantastic videos about Finnish cultural lifestyle and language. So if you're into those kind of things, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. There was a really interesting news article by Yle, the Finnish broadcast company, and this article focused on a special research. Goal of this research was to find out whether it will be more challenging to get a job interview if you have a foreign name. And let's dive into this research. The research was done by Aklak Ahmad, I hope I didn't butcher the name completely, a research at the Helsinki University. And in 2016 and 2017 he sent 5000 fake applicants under Finnish and foreign names. And the goal was to find out whether the name had any influence on getting the job interview or not. And there were 5 ethnic backgrounds, Finnish, English, Russian, Iraqi and Somali. And he sent 1000 job applications for each group through the uh, TE Tormista, which is the Finnish employment office website. And the job fields were, let me just read them out, re restaurant, catering, retail, office, cleaning and customer service. And what was especially interesting in, in this research was that the, all the applicants were equally educated and equally experienced. But here's the most important aspect. All the applicants had either born in Finland or they moved to Finland before they started school. Which means that they spoke pretty much fluent Finnish. And of course you want to hear the results. Let's dive into them. And here's the results. Pretty shocking, right? Out of 500 applicants, 390, which is almost 4 out of 5 people who had for a Finnish name, got accepted for an interview. For example, Somali had only 99 out of 500. And usually the excuses or like reasons why a foreign person doesn't get accepted to an interview is like they don't know the language or they, they, they don't know the Finnish customs or you know these kind of things. But because these people, these applicants, they were actually fake, but the applicants were born and raised in Finland, which means that they are basically in equal starting point compared to other Finns and they were equally educated, equal experience. But still the results were this. And in the early article, there was a few quite interesting concerns and the number of people with foreign background has increased tenfold in 30 years in Finland. And the average age of foreign kids or foreign background kids is 11 years. And this means that Finland is facing for the first time a scenario where a lot of people with foreign background are entering the job or the labor market in Finland. And you know, now you can, now you can see probably the challenge. If there's so many people who are, won't, won't even get accepted for a job interview and there's going to be even more people with foreign background applying for jobs, what's going to happen? Will there be a lot of unemployed foreigners out there in the future? What do you think? Some proposed solutions to kind of solve this problem is to carry out anonymous recruitment processes where the name, gender and age is completely hidden. And I think it's actually quite a quite cool idea because, for example, among the foreigners, there has to be some really top-notch people who are actually very skillful, very good as an employee, employers, but they just get left out because the employers say like, oh, this is a foreign background, blah, let's just keep them. And, you know, there's a lot of awesome foreign people who have really good skills and they just get left out because of this bullshit. Next, let's check out some comments from Finnish people to the article directly. We have some pretty interesting insights there. Let's do it. I feel anguished when native Finns are accused, blamed and threatened with the punishment when we stand for ourselves. Protecting your own is natural, is part of human nature and actually part of the nature of all species. It's not an offense against anyone, but protecting oneself, own culture, territory and offspring peacefully. I have to add that due to my own unpleasant experiences, my image on certain demographic group is prejudiced. This group has caused this because of their own behavior, breaking the law and impudence. It's very insulting that I'm forced to treat these people the same as the others. Now to be honest, I'm not surprised of getting these kind of comments because unfortunately recently, for example, the off sexual offenses against uh, children in all were done by people with foreign background and it's not surprising that if there are people who do these kind of like serious offenses that Finns are on their tones against or towards any foreigners and it's very unfortunate that if some smaller group of people does this kind of annoying stuff it affects the whole reputation of all foreigners in Finland. What do you guys think? Next one. The article blames the Finns. That is to say that the employer breaks the rules if they hire Finns. 
Okay, there was actually quite a lot of comments like this. You know, it was based on a research that research itself is, isn't actually blaming anyone. They're not offending anyone or saying like Finns are racist, but this is actually, these are just facts, you know, but that's what scientific research is for, is for, you know, to get like, what do you call it, what's the word, objective results. Because that's the point of, of the research. But there were many Finns, especially in the comments section, who got offended by the article because if some you know news media makes an article about this people might immediately especially Finns get offended like oh Finns are accused as racist and get offended by this. Next these are some interesting ones from real experiences from Finns let's check them out. In my social circle I can find a direct proof for this a foreign person changed their first and last names to Finnish ones and found a job right away in Finland. This is very rude discrimination and one of the things that need fixing the most in the Finnish society. This is true, which is discussed a lot among the representatives of the staff. I work as a shop steward at a publicly traded company in service sector, and I see direct discrimination against non-Finns in the daily operations. For example, salary, add-ons, work shifts, holidays, equal treatment, introduction to the work, etc. The employer always explains these as isolated cases and tells about the responsibility program. I am a native Finnish woman. I was married to a man with an Arabic background for 10 years and I had his last name for a few years after the marriage. I sent applications for jobs which were related to my field of education and I didn't get a single interview. I married my current husband and my last name was changed. Right away I started to get invitations for job interviews with the same education and same background as a native Finn. So the name does make a difference. My son has his dad's last name, but in case landing a job becomes difficult, he can change his name to my current husband's name or to my maiden name. So as you can see, at least if these comments are actually true, that the, the Finns themselves have either witnessed or experienced it themselves if they had a foreign name that they've had challenges landing a job interview. And as a Finn, I'm, I'm kind of... that's very depressing to hear, very sad. But as a Finn, what do I think about this? I mean, I can definitely relate. I mean, I agree that it, this, this kind of thing could happen, you know. This next one is a little bit long one, but good insights coming up. Let's check this one out. What's so special about this? This is how people act in every country in the world. Favor the people of own culture as long as the job is in so-called cheap labor, as anyone is accepted for those. Among Finland, I've lived in four other countries and looked for work while living in those countries. Because of my name stood out from the rest, I didn't get to interviews like the locals did and I didn't find it particularly strange. This is how it's always been in the world. The employer needs to have the right to choose their employees. They pay the salary after all. He or she can choose who to hire. No questions about that. I can tell that at the moment I work in a field which due to labor shortage has lots of people with foreign background as workers. The consequences haven't always been that good. There has been disagreements due to cultural differences, misunderstandings due to the lack of language skills and a few dangerous situations as well. Some customers complain that the employees don't speak or communicate normally because of their language skills aren't good enough. There has even been conflicts about having prayer moments during the workday. As an employer, I'd consider carefully who to hire if there were options. Really interesting points in this one. If I ask you a question, would this kind of thing or does this kind of thing happen in your country? Because what he said, like in every country, people most likely like to favor their own. And of course, the, the latter part where he mentioned the challenges with the language stuff. I mean, in the research, all the people, all the applicants spoke fluent Finnish, so it doesn't really comply here. But he, he raised a few points or he or she not raised a few points that there can be these kind of challenges that Finns Things kind of image these kind of challenges. Employing a person directly is always a risk for the employer. If the employee is a foreigner or a woman and needs to be laid off, all the risk gates are going high. The gender discrimination and racist cards are played and the employer will, will be the payer at the court. Okay, another good point from the employer's perspective. If, let's say, if someone hires an employee, with a foreign background or also a woman, like, like mentioned here, but let's just focus on the foreigner. And if he or she, the employee, just doesn't do that well enough, and for example, if there's usually a trial period in Finnish, Finnish uh, job contracts, and if the employer just decides that, okay, unfortunately, I don't see that, I don't think we should continue the, the job for you, there might be a risk that the employee thinks that he got laid off because of discrimination 
even if that wasn't the case. So there's even these kind of risks. But you know, maybe you get the point. It's not always so easy from also from the employer's perspective. This racist mentality can be seen anywhere. Employment, renting apartments, in shops, in the streets, in the comments section. Nevertheless, based on my own experience, the most hardworking employees are the ones with a foreign background who don't complain about the work. So, as you can see, there's also some Finnish people who think foreigners are doing a good job, and I completely agree. And I know a lot of awesome foreign people who are doing some pretty good stuff in Finland. Or foreign background people also. Next comment. I believe that the foreign name can affect on getting to the interview. It can be so that the person reading the applications might think while reading them that ah, I wonder what kind of special arrangements I need to consider with this person. With Finnish background you can know at least to some extent what to expect. But Finns have lots to learn from the others. As a person living in Helsinki who uses public transport, I can see this almost daily when considering the customers. When the bus driver waits for an old person or someone with limited mobility to sit down, one can be certain that he or she isn't the Finnish driver. Some time ago I had a magnetic resonance imaging and the nurse was a Somali woman. The friendliness and gentleness radiating from her made me think about my own world where efficiency replaces considering the other people. As we can see from this comment, there's also a number of Finns who think foreigners are good people. Like this one, like usually the drivers, foreign drivers. I can actually relate what she, what he or she said that foreign drivers, like especially the bus drivers are pretty good people. They say hello to the, customer, the people who get on and say thank you when they leave. This is pretty good stuff and Finnish drivers don't really do that. Let's take the next comment. Many comments reveal the fact what the researcher was worried about. The mental image of Finnishness is very narrow. If the name differs from the usual La, Nen, Gren or similar names, then one might think that this person has to be a foreigner. Often this isn't the case anymore. Belittling language skills or the cultural knowledge is even more insulting if Ahmed, Jelena or Rudzgar have lived all their lives in Finland, watched Pikku Kakkonen switch to winter tires gone to pick some lingonberries and so on. It's concerning if more and more people are left outside of the society because of the background of their parents or grandparents. It would be good indeed to use anonymous applications. It's the easiest way to get rid of this hidden discrimination, whether it's about age, gender or name. And yeah, it's it's true, like it feels, it's, it's like so annoying that there's so many amazing skills and expertise going to waste just because they happen to have a foreign background because of their parents and you know that's also the point we cannot choose our parents we just are born like this I have my parents and you have your parents there's nothing we can do about it and it feels so unfair I, I feel so kind of pissed for all these awesome foreign people who just don't get the opportunity because of their foreign background and if you are finding it or trying to find a job here in Finland and you might got really discouraged after watching this video don't get discouraged as you saw from the comments, there were quite a lot of positive ones as well. And I know a lot of foreigners who have found a really good job even without Finnish. So it's definitely possible. I think little by little this will get better, but I know and it's, it's not gonna be easy, but don't give up. You know, out there, there are those awesome Finns, open-minded Finns who are also foreign friendly. You just need to find them. And what do you guys think? about this. I'd love to hear your comments, L write them in the, in the comments below. I will also read and reply to most of them. If you want to improve your chances on finding a job here in Finland, speaking the language is the key and I can send you my free introduction course to spoken Finnish to your email. You can get it from the link in the description and I will see you in the next video. Mora mora.